and we do have an answer as to how much time is left and how will we know when the Malhama will take place. I want to take you now tonight to the Hadith which is in Sahih Bukhari in which the Prophet said Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam that the river Sungai River the river Euphrates Furat which is in Iraq eh? the river Euphrates will uncover a mountain of gold a mountain of gold from underneath the river a mountain of gold and people will fight over that gold and 99 out of every 100 would be killed indicating that this would not be conventional warfare no this has to be nuclear warfare for 99 of the every 100 combatants to be killed and therefore we would be on fairly good foundations if we were to suggest that the Malhama would be fought for the mountain of gold. Those who will fight for the mountain of gold will all be saying, I will be the one who will survive. But the Prophet said that the Muslims who are present at that time should not touch the gold. Should not touch the gold. So if we obey the Prophet والسلام, the implication would be Muslims would not be involved in fighting in the Malhama. The Malhama will involve others who are not Muslims or those Muslims who disobey the Prophet they will be part of the Malhama. So that a mountain of gold will come out from underneath the river. Those of you who want to have tafsir you can wait for a long, 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 long time. Eh? That one day somebody will be there with a pan and they will find a nugget of gold and that would be the sign that the mountain of gold is going to come out now from underneath the river. That's the tafsir. There are a hadith which are given in the form of mutashabihat and they have to be subjected to ta'wil so the flying donkey we know the flying donkey is here it's the modern aircraft and the fight for that mountain of gold is about to take place and that's the malhamah 